understand the problem have you seen a world map it's huge but when you observe closely you can clearly see the countries and important cities marked with precision we may not appreciate the value of it now but when we travel it's of good use can you draw a similar map of your house or of your school sure but why the house is not a very big one when compared to that the school is bigger but you know both these places very well a map won't be necessary but imagine a friend of yours coming to visit you won't such a map be useful for them to get to the place they want quickly decision making also gives us a similar challenge the need for a map assume the problem is the source and solution or decision is the destination the journey from the source to the destination is very important this is where maps can help us a lot there are various maps that help us travel between problem and corresponding solution effectively without losing our way in between let us explore one of them in detail this particular map contains 10 steps or landmarks they are define the problem and the expected solution collect data list solutions possibilities way possibilities get expert help filter mismatches decide on a solution stay focused on agreed solution execute monitor control and rework now let us get started from the first step in this map towards our optimal solution everything starts with defining the problem clearly without that the solution won't be realistic or complete looks so simple after all we know our problem isn't it the truth is no many times people look for solutions without even clearly knowing or stating what the problem is similarly people also don't know what is the solution expected out of a situation they simply don't like the present uneasiness and want to get rid of it but they don't really know where they want to be or how they want to feel when the problem disappears for example a student who scores very low marks in every mathematics exams may state his problem like this i'm not good at math that's the issue i want to solve okay but how he has to define the expected solution also at this point he may not know how he is going to achieve the expected outcome but it does not matter all we need is clearly state where you want to be i want to score at least 85% in every exam next year including the final exam now things are clearer we will be able to progress towards this goal with confidence again the step is to collect data any problem looks very big when we look at it from outside but if we get closer and get on the details we can see the solution emerging from it another angle is when we don't know the many details about the problem we are facing we tend to overestimate the level of issue on and which create panic and reduces the motivation to succeed to avoid such situations we need to collect as much information as possible about the problem on hand the more we get to know the better going back to our mathematics example we may have to collect information such as what are the topics under math that a student lacks knowledge why what matters he has adopted and why they are failing and what strategy is being adopted by other children of his age when we collect such data the problem is looked like a jigsaw puzzle slowly started to make sense we are able to see some patterns emerging out of the earlier madness and use them to our benefit now we know the problem in details we have a fair understanding of how this should be solved subsequent steps are going to take us towards this decision on a fast track okay guys thanks for watching